Welcome back guys. All right, as you can see, I have this beautiful, gorgeous wig right here, which is like the most natural wig ever. Like, trust me guys, you, you, you're you seeing it for yourself. And yes, this is from RPGHair.com. It is the pre-plucked 360 frontal wig, kinky straight Brazilian virgin hair. Now this is 18 inches long. And as I said before, it's Brazilian hair. It's a hundred percent virgin Brazilian hair. It is kinky straight. That's the texture. And it says 360 um, lace wig cap. It's like they improved this lace some more. So I'm really loving that. And that is what really helped with giving it that supernatural look apart from just the hair being like a 4c type of textured kind of straightened or blow out rather not straightened but that's what gave me that supernatural vibe i moved on to um further plucking the hair as i said it's a pre-plucked wig and you could definitely go ahead and rock it without having to go back in and pluck anymore but i, I do have ocd when it comes down to my hairlines and i just love to go in and just do a little bit more work in most cases not all the time and this is how much hair i got at the end what i took out extra and pretty much i just wanted to get the texture of this hair a bit flatter and so i went in with my flat iron now it wasn't anything to necessarily get it super bone straight this hair is very kinky and so yeah and i'm loving it guys i'm loving it like if you're that if you're a minimalistic type of person and you want to go ahead and try out wigs but you don't want to go ahead and you don't want it to look too obvious and you want to do something subtle and probably if you're a forced forcey textured hair person you want to try out something different i feel like this wig is perfect for you this is how it looked after i straightened it it was gorgeous and flowy and smooth and soft the luster of this wig is very natural looking i took my hot comb to further kind of go into the scalp area or the front area there the edges to kind of lay it down a little bit more it didn't, it didn't get it bone straight as i explained before and that's fine because i really wanted that nice little you know natural appearance of it and i really really love that but i definitely recommend this to all my minimalistic chicas who want to step out of the box try wigs but don't want it to be too obvious this is the perfect wig and guys look at the scalp portion it's flawlessly done it looks just like scalp it looks just like scalp it was just amazing i absolutely love this love 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 it guys love it so i basically did my little ball cap method before applying this wig this is the method i chose to use or do to apply the wig and if you need to see a detailed ball cap method video or tutorial from me two or two three videos will be linked in my description box go ahead and check it out guys very 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 detailed tutorials to help you out with the perfect ball cap method application all right so check that out so you know i'm using my got to be free spray and this is what i use as the adhesive and this is really 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 strong this is all i've been using since lately i've kind of you know I put down the got to be gel for a while now. Can't tell when last I used the got to be gel because the freezing spray is so good. Like, it's really, really good, guys. And as you know, you can definitely use water to remove this, it's not glue. All right, it's just a really strong holding spray. So, I really love the way everything was coming together. Since lately, I haven't been doing the overly like baby hair look. You know, I've been keeping it very minimalistic. Sometimes I'll do a little bit more baby hairs, but you know, not all the time. You know, on different days, I feel different ways. <laughs> so, yeah, today is just one of those days. Very minimalistic with the baby hairs. And I just love that pulled back, you know, look with the edges. Guys, look at that scalp. It is beautiful. So, today i wanted to do a little hairstyle to show off the scalp and so i went on the side of my of the wig there and i decided to do two little two little flat twists um initially i was just going to do one but i really was loving the appearance of the scalp guys oh my gosh and you guys know usually i don't do these type of styles with my wigs i usually just probably 
do would just jump straight into the half up half down or just catch it up or do something else but not a flat twist or corn roll i would i would never so this wig really had me feeling very versatile and just liberated i felt like it was really coming from a scalp look at that it's amazing you guys are seeing it for yourself it's it's really it's really good so and as i said the hair is really soft it feels like freshly washed natural hair that's blown out that's exactly how this hair feels love it so i proceeded to just doing a half up half down and yeah because i didn't want to leave it down you know i really wanted to you know put it up and i've been really loving the half up half down vibe even more since lately because it's a hairstyle that i've always been fond of but i've just been doing it a little bit more since lately and i use a piece of the hair there to conceal the scrunchy that i use to put the hair up in a ponytail and then i use a little um, bobby pin to secure it and yeah so you could go ahead and just rock it out like this or you could go ahead and do a bun so either way works this is pretty much it for this um wig tutorial for you guys it's looking super super realistic super super natural let me know what you guys think about it comment it down below um i'll put all the specifications to this wig i'll put the direct link to my rpg here page so you can go ahead and shop directly from there you know support your girl and to get some dollars off you can use my discount code su15 and petite 10 yes so yeah that's pretty much it for today um don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and do so and guys if it is that you're not getting notifications when i upload go ahead and turn on your post notification bells if you already did so and you're still not getting it then unsubscribe and resubscribe immediately <laughs> because i know youtube been acting up and a lot of people been saying they're not being notified so to just, you know, make sure that you get your notifications. Go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, bye.